We've had a wonderful experience moving into the MAP building. It's taken months of planning and a lot of excitement on behalf of both the occupational therapy and the physical therapy program faculty and students as we prepared to enter a new phase. It's wonderful to have the space to be able to accommodate the class sizes that we want to have for the future and we very much value the university's um, confidence in our programs and their willingness to move us into a place that's really for the future. We were able to use these wide open rooms in the mat building and build the, the uh, new rooms and the new labs to be able to accommodate the specific needs of our programs. As an example, we've set up a hospital corner. We had a group of faculty members who received funding for one of the mannequins to be able to practice a lot of those basic skills. We have the large mat tables that the students are going to see when they go out into the rehab hospitals and they're going to be working with people who've had strokes and spinal cord injuries and brain injuries. And then we've got a very large orthopedic lab which can accommodate five classes uh, that are co-taught with the OT students and the PT students. So our students are able to be in there together developing those important relationships that are going to prepare them for future clinical practice. It's just a, uh, it's a whole new learning experience. Um, I would say that um, as far as the transformation from Davenport to where it was kind of an old, um, just, a, just a whole different building. Um, at Davenport opposed to here um, where the learning experience is just um, it's, it's really it's limitless um, as far as the capabilities that this building has opposed to Davenport. Davenport you know you bring people in to visit and kind of show them Davenport and say this is this is where I have to go to school every day and now with MAP it's more like you know this is where I get to go to school every day it's kind of neat. It's a world of difference. Um, in Davenport, we didn't have any of the equipment you see here, so practicing transfers and just practicing things that we will do with our clients was mostly just making it up as we went versus having the equipment, having the space, and being able to actually hands-on practice those things. We did our first practice with transfer, so transferring a patient into and out of a wheelchair with the different surfaces and being able to be in here on the couches, the toilet, the bed, it was really helpful to be able to practice those the way we'll see it in real life. As a new program, it's really great that we've had, th had this almost from the very beginning versus the PTs who are just now moving in and they've, their program has been established a long time, so we feel really blessed to have it. It's been a huge change. It's almost been like a, a breath of fresh air because we, I mean, we were in a very old building at the time. Now we're in an all new, brand new setup, uh, all new equipment. Uh, just feels better, uh, a lot more utilization of the stuff that we have and a lot easier to learn. With uh, new rooms, more facilities, better equipment, it is making it more real compared to what we'll see in the environment in our job setting as compared to uh, the smaller setting that we were in before, which is kind of like a aha moment where um, they teach us a certain thing and we've already been out in the clinic this summer, so coming back over here and then seeing how things work on this side of, of the board um, kind of just all comes together. We think we have awesome programs here and we're finding in both of our programs a lot of students are seeking our university. As an example, this year we had 486 applicants for our 36 spots in the DPT program. So these, these are highly competitive programs for the admissions and we are attracting the university's um, most wonderful students, academically very gifted students.